getting to this point in his career, Dream has faced so many challenges. It all started in high school, as he would fly under many people's radar simply because of his size. He was underrated his entire high school career and received zero offers. Five schools took a chance and offered him to be a preferred walk-on at their program. He chose the James Madison University Dukes. He was utilized primarily on special teams for most of his freshman season. Before the conference championship, he announced to his coaches and teammates that he would be entering the transfer portal. After much thought and consideration, he decided to join Coach Narduzzi, former high school teammate Steve Merka, and the Pitt Panthers. He earned his way to RB1 in the spring, and his career skyrocketed from there. He started his sophomore season in the Pitt career against his former team and absolutely dominated. This was the start of something special. Talent was always there. Dream just needed a chance to showcase his abilities. He's already broken numerous records here at Pitt, whether that's a school record or NCAA record. Dream is looking to solidify his name in the record books for life. He now has the chance to win four different awards, with the Heisman being the most elite of them all. Will he win it? It's one last team that could potentially stop Dream from winning the Heisman, and that'll be the Maryland Terps. They'll have a tough task trying to stop this man here in the ACC Championship game. Let's get it! We're going to start this game off with the ball. We're coming in at 11-1 and one with a rank number 10, so this is huge for us. As we start this game off, getting a little juke move. Hey, Dream, this is going to be a tough one for you, my boy, so we got to come with our A game. I don't like how Road to Glory doesn't have the updated conferences. Otherwise, Maryland will be in a different conference. I think Big Ten, right? Oh, yeah, look at Dream showing that speed, man. Let's get it. Give him a juke move. Hey, man, let's get it, bro. Big 26-yard game right there. Hey, same, just a different day, bro. You feel me? Yes, sir. Got a nice little first and 10 right here going on. Dream get the handoff, bro. They're not blocking. We don't need this this game, y'all. So they do force third and nine early on this drive. So now we got to try to figure out a way to get open. Oh, yeah. Hit me, Steve. Ugh. Give him a move. My, my teammates, bro, they hating. Oh, it don't matter. Dream finds a way out of it and skirt into the end zone. That first touchdown coming in the air, that just shows how dynamic Dream can be with the ball in his hand, whether it's a handoff or a pass. We get a field goal out of that last drive, and defense continue to do a stellar job, man. The score is still 10 to 0. We got a... No, why did he switch it? Man, he's selling us, bro. So we're going to come out here on second and long, second and 13. But we got a little stretch play. It's one of my favorite plays, actually. It's like, just look at those blocks. Hey, forget the dive cheese. Get out there, 14. Give me a block. Hey, man, it's open running in Dream 5 TD, baby. Hey, it's something about the colors blue and gold for Dream. Every time he put that combination on, this guy goes bonkers. Absolutely crazy. Like, just look at that. This is too easy. 26, bro, you really trying that? <clears throat> oh, Dream breaking tackles. Let's go, man. I should have made no juke move. And Dream is hurt. Come on, bro. Dream is the rest of the entire second quarter. It is now in the third quarter, bro. And Maryland has scored twice. But we did put up points as well. I really don't like that, man. That's taking away from a lot of our stats. Taking away from our shine this game. Dream got to hit the weight room, man. He can't be getting hurt like that. That's definitely going to hurt his chances at the Heisman or possibly the NFL. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I fucked up. No team in the NFL is going to want him if he continue to get hurt like that and miss significant time in big games. Just look at him, though. The back counter, I love this play, man. Dream scored his first touchdown here on a counter against JMU. So this right here, this is our bread and butter. Cut it up. Come on, man. We need y'all to block a little bit longer. We did get a field goal out of that last possession. Dream got taken out because he was a little windy. The score is now 34-13, though, man. This game is going by super fast. Just look at that. He getting to the outside. Hey, and you already know. 26 trying to get. 26 kind of fast, bro. So Maryland will not go away. They continue to score every time we put points on the board. We get the tall sweep. This play usually doesn't work like this, but will Dream get another one? This is gonna be number four on the day. And Dream has set another record, beating out Barry Sanders. 
Once again, shout out to Barry, one of my favorite running backs. Yeah, take that game ball with your dream. Man, just look at this stat line. You cannot tell me this is not goaded right here. The only reason we're still in the game is because it's a 21 point lead and Maryland continues to score touchdowns. But dang, dude just gonna pull a dream by his neck. Do I wanna flip it? Nah, I ain't gonna flip this. We gotta get this, bro. Just block. 36 suck. I hate following him. But we gonna get that first down, though. Dream don't care. He gonna find a way. That was a huge first down so we can kill more time off the clock. Man, look at that, bro. Oh my gosh. This guy is a menace. Coming out here on second and six, we're looking at trying to get touchdown number five or six. I don't know which one it is. Oh yeah, we're gonna juke it up in there. Come on, man. Third and four, this is a big down. We gotta add another TD to it. 36, bro, can you finally block somebody? And he still don't oh, block. Oh, Dream God. went backwards by five yards and still got in. So our guy's going to finish this dominant performance with 22 carries, 408 yards with 4 TDs. He also added 1 catch for 33 yards and his only catch went for a touchdown. Alright, this is a big moment for us. The moment of truth. I'm going to let you guys see it with me as soon as it pop up on the screen. And Dream gets snubbed. No freaking way. There is no way Blake Corum's stat line looks like dreams. He did win the Maxwell Award, also the Walter Kemp, as well as the Dope Walker. Blake Corum didn't even have half of the season Dream had. He had under 2,000 yards, less than 20 touchdowns. I am absolutely baffled right now. Dream finishes with 4,000 yards, 39 rushing touchdowns. 39! Not 17, but 39. So to finish the season out, there were two undefeated teams, and that'll be USC and Michigan, so they'll be playing for a national championship. There were also seven, eight teams in the top 10 that finished with one loss, so it was a pretty tight race. This is embarrassing. Dream loses the Heisman to Blake Corum with a terrible stat line, and Pitt plays a six and six SMU in the Orange Bowl. What is going on? After the biggest snub in college football history, Dream about to go crazy, man. We accepting this ball. We're going to receive it. Our boy got something to prove now, y'all. They done woke up a beast. It don't even matter. Ooh, he get lit up on that one, though. It's just embarrassing, man. I don't understand how Blake Corn wins the Heisman after Dream rushed for 400 yards. He added four touchdowns as well in the championship game alone. So that's just embarrassing. Like, look at this. That was it's easy. too easy. I know Blake Corn I'm not doing this. I know for a fact. I'm still shocked that Dream lost the Heisman right now, y'all. I may not sound as good during this commentary. Jesus Christ. This game is rigged, bro. It's rigged, political, whatever you want to call it. We got a big third and seven right here, though, man. I can't let that bring me down. Dream, he gonna continue to be Dream and do what he do. Good block, 68. That's too easy. Get off me, man. Let's get it. I'm just letting y'all know, man, I have no control over that. It's nothing that I could have done to make Blake Corn win or even add to the storyline. I promise you, this, this game literally did that. This is my very first time seeing something like that happen, especially with the stats and how long I was on top of the Heisman leaderboard. God damn. Dream coming out here, he probably trying to go for about 500 yards this game, man. He's mad. I know he's going to be running like a madman. So we got second and two right now, deep into the red zone. Let's see if we can get another another touchdown. Oh, look at them getting laid out. Y'all too slow, bro. Just get out of here. Defense continues to play great, man. The score is 21-0. And just look at that. that. That wide receiver just getting straight demolished out there. And look at that, man. Dream get a huge 34-yard run on that one. This is not even an orange bowl right now. It's like a little practice game for us, bro. We should definitely be in the playoffs or national championship or something. Next year, they're not going to want to see us in college football. Florida State, we coming for our revenge. We coming for everything that wasn't given to us this year. Nobody respected Pitt. 
So we're 141 left. The score is now 28 to 0. Man, we're gonna try to put up 35 on these boys. I'm telling y'all the disrespect that we've been Bruh. getting. Steve, look, man. Steve probably the dumbest quarterback ever, bro. We got a little second and five right here from the 10 yard line. If Steve actually throw me the ball, I can probably get in the end zone. Oh, he threw a dot to another man. Let's get it, bro. This is too easy. We're getting us a Heisman, and we're getting us a Natty before we go to the NFL. And that's definitely going to be the next season. It's now the third quarter, and we're looking to extend our lead and add more stats to the stat line. Dream trying to make them pay for that decision and not giving him the Heisman. That's too freaking easy. I want to play Michigan next year. Man, this is a blowout. The score is now 42-3, to and we're still in the game, surprisingly. As we're running this tall sweep, and we're going to lose four yards. Deep into the red zone once again. It's now second and five. We're looking to add number four. Come on, Steve. I need to do the switch that it don't even matter, bro. Defense finally gives up a touchdown. The score is now 49 to 10. But it's the fourth quarter, man. And this game is basically over. You might as well call it. So coach finally takes us out of the game. We get the Orange Bowl victory 49 to 19. And SMU is just simply no match for us. It's gonna be a lot of those blowouts next season. So just get ready for a really impressive season if you thought Dream had a good one this year. So for the final game with one of the greatest sophomore seasons for a running back, Dream's gonna finish with 26 carries, 257 yards, and five rushing touchdowns in this game. So as the season end and heartbreak for Dream as far as individual records, he will be hitting the offseason super hard. He's gonna be looking to bulk up, try to add at least 10 to 15 more pounds, and just simply transform into a player that they've never seen before. I know you guys are disappointed just like I am, but we got another season, and I think that's gonna be the one. For Dreams Revenge season, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to do that. Like the video and turn on them post notice, cause we coming for it all next year. But without further ado, I came to dream out. All love, stay blessed.